Hey guys, what is up? It is no help and welcome back to another video today. Today is just a random update video for my Iron Man account. I have recently become a billionaire, which is kind of an interesting milestone on my account. Ever since I've maxed, I've really been focused on PVMing and trying to get myself to be better at PVM. I've been tracking my, with Runelight all of the money and kills and bosses that I've done since I've maxed and just in two months I've pretty much made 400 million GP which is just ridiculous if we go over everything that we've done in the past little bit. Crazy dude. I started off right after maxing going for this item right here, the Dragon Warhammer. Now the thing about the Dragon Warhammer is it is a 1 in 5,000 drop from the Lizardman Shaman, so it's not technically a boss, but it is an item used for bossing, raids, and slayer, right? It's a very good weapon for slayer bosses. Um, it just pretty much what it does, it lowers the defense of the boss so that you can end up killing it quicker, easier, get more kills per trip. So this was the very first item that I wanted after maxing the account. And it did take a very long time. 12,000 Lizardman Shamans were killed in order to go ahead and get the, the Dragon Warhammer. But then once that was knocked out of the way, it was time to move on and go for the Bandos Armor. Which is something that I should have probably got a long time ago. It's kind of weird that I waited till I was maxed to get uh, a melee set for Training Slayer. But uh, overall, I'm just very happy that we were able to go ahead and kill General Gardor, learn the boss, make a decent amount of money there as well. And uh, now I can confidently go into God Wars Dungeon. In, uh, in the grind, I was able to also get the Goblin Champion Scroll and set myself a new goal to actually get the Champion's Cape one day, which is a topic for another video. But uh, I also got a little bit lucky at Bandos and got myself the Bandos God Sword as well, which is, was a nice surprise. I really didn't think I would actually go for that, so that added a lot of extra money into it. I was pretty lucky at Bandos, I would say so myself. Um, one thing I'm not lucky on though is the Alchemical Hydra, which is something we still need to go back and do. Um, very, very dry at it. Obviously, we do not have the pet or the claw. We've killed over 2,200 of them now. We've received seven leathers, uh, like a ton of money, obviously, we've made here. But uh, that's going to be the next thing is to finish off Konar and get Hydra done with. Um, right now, I'm currently working on the Gauntlet, and I recently just got the Bow of Feridonin, the Bofa, this little crystal bow right here, which is probably the most expensive item that I own. Um, if I price check it, it is about 148 million GP. I got that very, very lucky and early on. I also went ahead and got the Gauntlet Pet. Very, very lucky at this boss right here. We got the pet and we got the Enhanced Weapon Seed. Also, two of the Crystal Armor Seeds we did get as well. So, we need another four and then we can get the full Crystal and be done with the Gauntlet forever as well. But uh, the PVM knowledge has grown a ton. I've also slowly been working towards getting 200 million cooking. Um, here's the grapes and the jugs of wine that I have and just some of the other fish in the bank. But uh, here is what we've been really focused on. So we have all of my tuna right here, 10 million GP in the tuna and then the swordfish as well. This is just from the kingdom of miscellanea. Don't think I went ahead and fished this myself. I definitely did not. And the carnivore stack is obviously growing now a bit as well. So we've got a decent amount of money invested into food now which uh, we are currently sitting at 28.3 million cooking. I just tend to do cooking and fishing as well whenever I'm AFKing, editing videos, and whatever. So that's kind of the skilling that I've been up to in the past few months. So what are going to be some of the new goals for the account? Obviously, what I really want to go ahead and do right now is finish off the gauntlet and then head back into Hydra like I was talking about. Finish off Hydra and then we're going to go do the rest of the God Wars dungeon bosses, which I think is going to be super interesting. I'm going to be making videos and guides about every single one of them. I also want to do the wilderness bosses update that just came out. I think that's going to be absolutely insane and just continue doing Slayer and cooking. I just, they're my two skills that I really want to go ahead ahead and complete and max and get 200 million experience in and uh they're just the two skills that i really like the most on this game cooking because it's super afk and it's nostalgic for me because it was my first 99 and slayer because it is a ton of fun and you just get to learn so much about pvm make a ton of money and overall just have a great time and then also when the new skill comes out we're going to be crushing that now i'm not going to do a very 
detailed bank video right now because I'm going to save that for another video. But uh, here is kind of what the bank is looking at like right now. So we've got all the runes here. We got the cash stack. I will need to go ahead and get the, the colossal pouch and then we can get rid of all these other pouches here. We need elk some rune pickaxe. <laughs> that's that's crazy. Um, and then we've got the achievement diary stuff here. The bottom of the bank starting to get a little bit cluttered, which we need to clear out. We need to do a bunch of uh, clue scrolls as well. Do some elking. And the second tab here, it's 137 million. We got the skilling supplies. The gems have went up a ton from the gauntlet. Like so much gems that we can go ahead and craft, which is going to be great crafting experience. And the uh, the raw food stack is uh, not looking terrible either. Definitely want some more of those. Definitely want some more wines as well. And we're going to start getting back into farming, I think, because another skill I really like is farming. And it's kind of like a passive skill that you don't have to pay too much attention to. And I slowly want to go for ranks and herblore, I think, as well, just because herblore is a, cool, a really cool skill on an Iron Man. And the her, uh, herb tab's not looking too bad as well. Um, some of the potions that we need to stock up on are more prayer potions, obviously. Getting a little low on those. Super stores we could use some more of as well because we're going to be using a ton of those in the future. And ranging potions are always a nightmare to go ahead and get. But the other ones are looking too, not too bad. Um, maybe some more antidotes as well when we go back to Zalra. And uh, skill capes, you know, it is what it is. And here is the drops tab, 151 million. We definitely have a little bit of high elking to do, but we've been trying to keep up with the high elking so that they don't fully get uh, stocked up. But I think now that I hit the 100 mil cash stack, I will kind of let them pile up for a little bit. As you can see, like the room pickaxes, the room full helms, a lot of stuff that we need to go ahead and high elk in here. And then the gear tab is, uh, this is kind of like my scuffed quote unquote gear tab, which is just like the barrows and whatever, random pieces and arrows. Dragon arrows have went up a lot because of the um, gauntlet. And then this is the tab we're really working on. As you can see, 391 million. We're really trying to get all the gear upgrades we possibly can. I want to go for ranger boots this year as well. Uh, once I finish the full crystal and get the dragon hunter lance, I will probably do a bunch of clue scrolls and go for that, uh, because we do have whatever it's called, the Pegasian Crystal, two of them actually, but we just need to go ahead and get the Ranger Boots, because then we'd have all three of the Jordan pairs, the red, the blue, and the green, which is going to be nice. And this is just the miscellaneous junk tab. I will make a better detailed bank video, but yeah, 1.2 billion GP, and we literally passed 1 billion GP like a couple of weeks ago, so we've already made like 200 million since then, which is just crazy. PVM is really overpowered. It's a great way to make money, great way to just get better at the game, and uh, you can pay for your skills that way if you are a main account, obviously, and if not, you can get a ton of resources to quote-unquote pay for your skills so yeah overall i've been having a blast with pvm it's probably the most fun content that i've ever had in the game and being maxed does not make me bored at all i just like the game even more now and uh who knows i might go for 10 billion gp now i think that'd be a really cool thing to go ahead and do mostly gonna just go for collection logs items items that i've always really wanted to get like this twisted bow here in the background we will be going for that i really want to learn raids and just there's so much to do like there is way too much to do on this game and things just take forever but that's that's the beauty of it right now that we're max we can really focus on what we want to go ahead and do until the new skill comes out or until a bunch of new quests and stuff come out but uh yeah anyways thank you guys so much for watching the entire video today if you went ahead and watched the whole video go ahead and comment 1.2 down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much, and I will catch you in the next one. See ya later.